Layout Pro was developed for contractors, virtually any type of contractor that needs to lay out points and lines easily, precisely, and quickly. Okay, so now that we've gotten the job drawn in, we figured out what we're gonna do for control, now we're gonna go ahead and lay the job out. The total station set up, we've already shot our two control points, we're happy with everything. Now we're gonna go to the rest of the points that we have on the print, and we're gonna show you how to lay out those points and layout lines. Um, where layout lines is gonna be nice is jumped footings, so you can keep everything in a nice, nice straight line. Uh, straightening the top of a long wall. Um, there's a bunch of different uses for lines, but points is what we're gonna lay out most of the time. Uh, all of our building corners, inside and outside corners, whatever you wanna lay out. So we're gonna go to the job that we have. We're gonna select points. So we use point three and four as our control, and now it's showing where the total station is and where we are on the job, and it's showing us right in front of the total station. So we're gonna go ahead and pick, let's say, point seven. We wanna go stake that point out. We tap point seven and we hit next. So now it's gonna tell us where to go from there. Um, it's gonna tell you forward, back, left, right in feet and inches. Now, no matter where you are on the job, forward is always at the gun. In a full 360 radius around that gun, if it's telling you forward, forward's at the gun, backwards is behind you, left and right is 90 degrees off of that. So, you know, it's showing us where we wanna be and it's showing us walking across the job. So, now when I get within three feet, the red circle is our point. The green circle that's moving around is us. So, everyone has their own way of figuring this out. So. I don't look at my measurements, I just look at my circles and I try and hold it as level as I can without looking at it. I'll get close and I'll set it down, I'll level it up, and you know, it's telling me I gotta go back an eighth, left three quarters. So I'm gonna go back an eighth, left a bit. I'm gonna go left just a touch more. Forward and back on within a sixteenth, and then you know, you know, I'm within a sixteenth each way. Now, if I was laying out wall line, we might use a shorter prism pole because the lower you get the prism, the more wobble you're going to take out of yourself. The lower that prism is, the faster you can get to that point. Now, if we're doing a footing, you know, we're we're within a quarter inch. We're we're good. Uh, because this point will not interact with any of the other points. If you mess this point up somehow, you're only messing up this point. So once we establish this point, what we do is most guys are not going to shoot it, store it, or stake it. They are just going to mark the point on the footing, and then they're just going to go back. And from here, you're going to tap the next point you want and hit next, and it's going to tell you where to go to the next point. So that's staking points out. Now staking a line out, our second, so on the bottom here, we have the picture of the total station. The next button over is search. The next tab over from there is lit up red in the middle. That means the total station sees us. The next one is points and the next one is lines. So if we tap that, it'll automatically bring us into lines. We can tap a line that we want and it'll give us a direction because what it's going to do is it's going to give us a down and an out. Now, if we just want to be on that line, we want to get our out to zero. Our down is how far we are. And if you see the arrow, is going from six to seven. So our down measurement is going to be how far we are away from six. Out is going to be how far we are off our line. So if we go ahead and select that and hit next, we are going to get... So you see the out is climbing up, and then as I back up, when I get to zero, it's gonna go negative. So no matter where I am on that line, and you can zoom in and get a little better look of where you are on that line. So you, know, you can level it up, you know, we're a sixteenth of two thousandths away from our line. So we could mark that on the footing, go up, 
on a jump footing and go right back to zero and it's going to keep us in a straight line just real quick and when you want to go back to points you're going to hit the first red it's got the two flags on it that's going to bring us back into points and now we can zoom out our print you know pick another point we want to lay out next and keep right on going um, that's the easiest way to lay out points and lines